Peace to the gods and nurses, to God born build your humble servant back once again. Man, and first off, I want to just start off by saying, you know, rotating power to my brother, Asar Brian Trescott, AKA Osiris, you know, this is his born day, you know what I mean? He passed away some years back, 04, and you know, we just want to say peace to him, man. You know, he right here with us, he rotating, you know what I mean? And he doing his thing, man, he sending the energy down to us, man. So peace to the God, you know what I mean? I know it's been a lot of things going on, just a lot of death for everybody, man. You know, and just, they trying to keep that energy out there, man. But I just, but we're gonna build on that today. You know what I mean? And uh, we're gonna clarify things, man, and get it all together and move that fear from all our minds and our hearts, man. So that way we can add on and build the way it's supposed to be done, you know? So of course, um, I wanna welcome everybody back. You know what I mean? We're doing our thing, man. We're keeping everything going. And you know, we're gonna start off with today's mathematics, you know? So today being 428, 2021, 20, we breaking that down. Four, two is a six plus eight. 14 plus 2, 16 plus 2, 18 plus 1, 19. The 1 and the 9, knowledge born, breaks down. 9 plus 1 is 10, which breaks down to 1, doing the knowledge. So we're going to do the knowledge today. And we're going to go to... Once again, Supreme Wisdom, Supreme 120 Lessons, Knowledge, the accumulation of facts through observing, learning, and respecting. Mm, observing, learning, and respecting. A lot of us observe, we learn from people, we see shit, we judge, we don't respect. That's a good one right there. Y'all, A lot of y'all put judging, the judgment there instead of respect. Soak that up. Knowledge is the foundation of all existence for it must be known in order for it to manifest. Knowledge is the light given off by our sun, which is the foundation of our solar system. Also the original man, whom is the foundation of Allah's family. Knowledge, sun, original man, peace. And I wanna build on that a little bit and just say, and that's the reason why a lot of fathers out there, you know, even if you ain't in a situation with the kid's mother, you need to, to try it. I know it's tough and I know it's hard. A lot of times it's just hard to mend, man, but somehow, some way you got to be able to try to touch out to your kid, man, and be that foundation like the sun is to the universe, keeping us going around, man. It's the same way you need to be there in your family, make sure it's going around your children. You know, your offspring is rotating the way it's supposed to be rotating. You know what I mean? Even if you're checking on them through other people, third parties, however it's got to go down, man, you got to make sure, you know, because trust me, I've been through the same thing. I'm not just putting it out there, just talking. I live it, you know what I mean? So you gotta know how to move, man, and reach out to use your resource, be very resourceful. You know what I mean? When you when you when you have children and you're a man and you're not necessarily around, you know, you gotta be very resourceful and use those resources to make sure you can manifest things for your children over there, man. Because you gotta keep because you're leaving it up to one person who's not perfect and you're not perfect up to raise a child up and they like them, you know, and how they see fit, you know what I mean? Which might not necessarily be the way it should be for people, you know? So step up to the plate, man, as best as you can, man. Try to work out what you can work out. You know, we just gonna keep it at that, you know? But we are gonna go to the uh, first degree in the one to 14. And it says, why isn't the devil settled in, in the best part of the planet Earth? Why isn't the enemy, why wasn't the enemy originated from the best part of the planet of the earth? And we're going to keep it real short and sweet on this one. Power. We see why. We see why. As soon as they get a taste of whatever was going on, it was had to be ownership for them, you know, and it's stating claims and it's conquering and it's ownership. It's ownership and power. That's exactly why it had to be earned or taken the way they took it, because it wasn't going to be given from the origination or none of this probably would even exist. None of the foundation that we have probably wouldn't even have a chance to even exist. And that's peace, you know, so we're going to move on, you know, and um, when we're thinking about today's math, you know, and um, when we're thinking about the original people and you think about yourself, you know, and when you think about that, it's like um, a lot of us like to just think of 
think of everything on one energy or just one plane, you know, or we might want to give all our respect to just the one energy source, you know what I mean? Or one source of knowledge or wisdom, you know, and I'm not saying I'm going against any of that. All I want to just say is, you know, you got certain things that go on. You might say, well, okay, well, I believe in this theology and this is what I follow, you know, but at the very same time, you got to, you also go into the new, go buy a newspaper or get on the internet and do your horoscope every day and you listen and you, and you know, and you having your tarot cards read and certain other things like that, you know what I mean? So, and I'm not saying anything's wrong with that either, but all I want to say is, you know, if I'm going to say that I was created by this energy, this entity, but also at the same time, call myself being born in January an Aquarius, you know, I'm showing respect to that energy of uh, extraterrestrial, so to speak, uh, extraterrestrial energy. I'm giving respect to that energy to being a part of me or being me, you know? So I also have to give respect in that same nature that there's other energies and other things involved. I can't play on both sides and say, okay, I'm an Aquarius and this is why I act this way and use that as an excuse for why I treat people a certain way or the way I move. Oh, I'm an Aquarius, so you gotta excuse me. But at the same time, you saying at the same time, it's only one, I'm created from one thing, I'm part of one thing and there's only one thing that gives the respect. And we have a lot of debates and a lot of back and forth a, few, a lot of times with people because with the word, how it even says in the scripture, it says, created in our image so if you really think about that they say uh, when you ask them that our image they might be saying okay it's the holy trinity or it's the you know the angel you know how do they try to break it down but if you really really think about it okay what if this is the so to speak conversation between the energies of the sun moon and the stars created in our image so if you got the sun's solar energy which is electric or generative energy generation you know it generates then you got the moon which they say this lunar energy or magnetic energy you know or negative energy so they say or radioactive energy you know really that's what it is is generative and and uh radioactive so to speak and uh and that's one reason why you think about why you pray at night you know, radio waves, the waves, you know what I mean? To Thoth is described, he's good, he's connected to the moon. You know what I mean? This is kind of like, what would you would say the, you know, and even how it rises up the water. I don't want to get off the page, but even, you know, how they say the tide rises from, it all had to do with the moon. You know what I mean? So there's some type of connection that in the evening when the moon's out, that's absorbing, you know, the interaction between the earth and the moon that's going, you know, going back and forth from the earth to the moon. I'm feeling like from the sun to the earth, from the earth to the moon, you know, but that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother pod. But and then I want to say on speak on the stars. So if you're an Aquarius, a Gemini, you, uh, you know, Pisces, an Aries, a Scorpio, you know, all this, this is, I mean, we just don't say it because this is the show we do it on. This is the acceptance of an extraterrestrial energy manifested in you. Now, are you controlled by it or are you it manifested? That's the difference. Are you saying, okay, I'm gonna have a bad day because the horoscope said my numbers ain't, my numbers is only uh, 9, 28, uh, I'm only cool on Tuesday. You know what I mean? Is you gonna be controlled by it or is you gonna say, okay, Tuesday is when I can actually really get really get in my bag. So I'm going to be building up on these other days. And when Tuesday, Thursday or Wednesday and Friday come around, or if I know it's the 28th or the 19th and the energy is and the alignments is correct, I'm really I'm going to be ready and prepared to get in my bag. You know, that's how you need to be looking at things. You know, a lot of y'all is controlled by it, but you controlled by it, but you don't want to admit it because you want to hide behind the theology and say, no, I'm this, but all this is involved secretly, you know, and that's just all I want to say. You need to, uh, let's all just recognize the type of energies that we bring in and that we accept into our cipher, into our circle, you know, that way we can know how we move it, man, and really be able to move clearly, you know, 
if you're learning from this and you know that you that you originate from this energy, you know, you got to combine them together to see how to control it, maintain it, use it for your own power. You know what I mean? Not look at being controlled by all this. All right, I've got to do this, so I'm going to go to hell or so to speak, or I'm going to do this, or I'm going to be a, a disagreeable, or I, I can't do this because it's not in my energy. I'm not that kind of person. You know what I mean? Every Y'all keep using everything as just a limitation. You know what I mean? And stop using these energies as limitations, man, and, and being slaves to them is, is what I'm what I'm really trying to say. You know what I mean? They here for your use, but you got to know how to master yourself to know how to use these, use the things. You know what I mean? That's what we're here to do today a little bit, give you a little taste on how to move and how to and how to operate. So speaking on that uh, mistake in the, the way energy works and how things go, let's just think about the science of. And we're still talking about the stars, you know, the science of birth and death. Now think about it. If you come, if these three entities, the stars, now let's just now, now, if we look at it, give me one second, family. If we look at it, now we already know that the moon, that the sun is 93 million miles away. All right. The sun's 93 million miles away, right? So if I'm saying I'm, I'm, I, I'm uh, a part of me is the energy, is solar energy. So if I'm saying a part of me is solar energy, then I'm saying that uh, that entity is, that part, that energy from that entity is inside of me. Now, if I'm saying I'm also an Aquarius, an Aquarian, then that means that I'm also accepting that that energy is a part of me. And that and 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 uh, Aquarius uh, constellation is six hundred light years away. All right, let's be clear with that. Let's be clear about something real quick. Let me clear this up: is the fact that uh, the constellations and, and these entities, these signs that we all fall under, are out further than the sun that we're saying you know is is the only uh, is the only thing generating all this energy and the power and if we all look at the sun we all know that the sun goes through these same exact phases so think about that for a minute you got a whole set of 12 constellations all right surrounding our universe you know and even the sun has to is, is is filtering through this energy that these that these constellations are sending through. You know what I mean? At different times, they calling them solstices. They calling them you know all these different uh, titles that they have for it. You know what I mean? All have to do with the connection to these constellations to these twelve constellations. And then if you really think about it, all of us that deal with the scripture, if you're dealing with this number twelve, then you go into when you're looking at twelve disciples. You got 12 disciples, you got 12 months, you got 12 hours, which are 24 hours, you know, you got 12 constellations, you got, you know, the 12 signs, you know what I mean? You got the 12 phases that the frequencies that the sun, that the sun radiates, you know what I mean? So if you're looking at this number 12, it's the whole matrix, because they talk, you know, here other people talk about 12 elders, 24 elders, four, you know, it's all in the basis of this 12 and if you and i just gave you the wisdom of these constellations are on the outside of the sun moon and earth and, and the planets all right so when we look in that our image creation in our image what are we talking about we're talking about a combination a concentration of energies to create this soul, the spirit, the soul, and the mind. And then when you can tap in, and then when you know that, then you know what to tap into to enhance these certain things. You see what I'm saying? If you're looking at in, in one direction and you're looking at things as being mastered by them, you know what I mean, or, or falling under them or being restricted by them, you're never going to be able to advance. What you need to look at things is uh, as, the, as the stepping stone to move forward. This is for me to master, to open, to unlock what I need to unlock, you know? And 
when we're thinking about birth and we're thinking about death, it's like, if you're coming from these entities and the, excuse me, these entities always existed and will forever exist, when did you not ever exist? If these things are you and you are them, and this is what you honestly was created through, what's honestly separating you from it? This physical manifestation, this is an opportunity for these things to have a physical manifestation, you know, to operate. That's the blessing. All these things to come into conjunction to operate in physical manifestation, man, and what you're doing now, you know, which, what, which gives you the ability to create your own children. The things around you, you creating every day you wake up. All right, when you wake up, what you doing? All right, put this food together, do this. I'm going to go here, get this money, work over here, clock in. You creating everything. You, you creating it for yourself the whole time. So when you're sitting back looking, and I feel like that's one thing that depression might be, is the fact that you really deep inside know that it's you doing this. You know, so it's throwing you down. You don't want to accept that. You know what I mean? And if you can grasp onto the fact that you can change it at the blink of an eye, it help, it'll help you a lot and help you climb out of a lot of things, you know, that you really are attached to, you know what I mean? Because what it, any of the holy things that anybody could read, it always tell you the attachment thing is what you can't do. You can always have the love and the, and the passion for things, you know, but you have to understand that we on our own road, we're all on our own path. We have to learn things how we learn things, you know, and you always been here. So if you, originated from something that's always been here. You live this life and this experience, and then you move on from this experience. How could it actually ever be an actual ending to it if you if what you came from didn't, doesn't, doesn't end and doesn't have a beginning? That's what they mean when they say in here, no birth record, no beginning or no ending. It's the entities that you, that, that, came in combination to create you is infinite. There is no end, there is no beginning. There is no explanation. They could never explain you. You all, you feel misunderstood? You always gonna be misunderstood for the fact of you, is where you come from is unexplainable. Why is it unexplainable? Because of potential. That's what they don't give you. They always tell you, okay, yeah, well, that can't be explained, can't be questioned. You can't, because of potential, you make it what it is. You're making it what it is, family, you know? And I'm saying it to myself and I'm saying it to the family too. We all in this together and we're making it what it is. If we want it, we're going to have it. If we don't want it, it's not going to happen. That's just simple as that, family. You know, stop looking at creation and the way things have been doc indoctrined in you as, you know, these things to govern you and to be just a constant crutch and rely on to make everything happen for you. That's not what it's about and that's not what you're here for. That's not what none of us are here for. And it takes a while for us to get it, but we gonna, that's why we're putting it out here now for our children, our seeds to be able to come back, check it out and soak it up early, you know what I mean? Because a lot of, I mean, we all from the neighborhood, you know, so we know how this go, you know? Influence, when you walk out your door, you know, it's a different mentality, mentality, you know? I mean, not to say anybody's really different, but if you're from the urban areas, it's different when you walk outside. The success stories, the influence is completely different. If you living in a neighborhood to where you got, you know, doctors around, you know, people graduated from school, people going to college, you know what I mean? I mean, just people with good jobs, people going to work every day, you know, you're going to come out and you're going to be like, yeah, I got to get in where I fit in. I got to get to work. I got to have me what we have out here, you know? But if you're coming outside another neighborhood where everybody's saying, we ain't, what, what, is you going, what is you going to school for? We got money, we get money every day. We ain't worried about none of that here. Take this. Oh, and some people, and some people we that we do that we judge, they just they might want to have that aspiration of, hey, I want to be a musician, I want to be a, a artist, you know what I mean? Draw, paint, do things, you know, I'm gonna go to college, I want to do certain things, but you that's inside in their house, they thinking about these dreams. Soon they walk out their front door and they projects or their neighborhood where they walk outside, that whole neighborhood is a 
let's just so to speak, bust perspective, you know, rolling 60s or, you know, pyrus or blood or anything like that. You necessarily don't even have a choice once you come outside. Is you with this or if you're not with this, you completely shun. So then you neck, then you open to anything to happen to you. Even in your own projects now, things can happen to you because now you ain't even with us. So we ain't even looking at you over there. Whatever happened with you happened, we even do something to you. You know what I mean? So you got to either live with that and the simple fact of, okay, now you live over there, but you don't want to be a part of it. Now you want to go to the mall. Now you want to go shopping. Now you want to go see this girl. Oh, where you from? You from over there? You can get killed just off that and you don't even want to be a part of it. That's, I'm not making any excuses, but that's a reality in an urban neighborhood that people don't like to put out there is the fact of a lot of times you don't even have to be on it. It's what's already going on. It's already in the environment. That's what the product of environment thing is all about. Sometimes this is what's already going on. You know, and it takes brothers like us to step up and come out of it, man, and come back and tell the people and tell the children, you know what I mean? That you can snap out of that. You, and if you do happen to swerve through it, you can break out of it and move on the way you need to move on to, man. Wake up and realize it, man, and pass it on to the next one, how it needs to be passed on, man. And you can get your life together before it's too late, man. You know, because you see everybody out here is just really not knowing when, if they're going to see tomorrow. And it's, and it's ugly and it's supposed to just be a natural way of life, but but it seemed like it's being a lot more enhanced and rushed, you know what I mean? And this is really no need for it, you know what I mean? And it's going and it takes us to do it. Ain't no one gonna come in. And if that was gonna happen, it would have happened 10,000 years ago where it would have been the divine intervention. We are the divine intervention. The waking up of us is divine intervention. That's how it happens through the spirit, not visible. Let me continue on, family. But I wanna just say, like, you know. Get off that life of death shit. Build, add on every time you wake up. Create when you wake up. Create what you have to create. You always want to work and do, oh, well, I got to work. Yeah, you're doing that. You're doing that. But at the same time, don't let it, don't be doing something that's tiring you out so much and just so mentally exhausting to where you can't do anything for yourself when you're not there. That's slavery to where you don't even have the energy to create once I'm done with you you know, to do anything for yourself, you know? So try to keep that energy and try to keep that motivation to keep things going for yourself. You know what I mean? And that's your opportunity through being creative. You know, that's the blessing in this physical manifestation, man, is to be able to honestly, you know, of course, have it your way, but not a necessarily way to where you want to harm people. But of course, live your life how you live it, man. Have your house how you want your house to be. Raise your children how you want to raise them. Treat people how you want to treat them, you know. Eat the foods you want to eat, man, and create your cipher, man. That's the blessing, you know, to get out here and get it, to, to try to experience it as an individual. Now, the secret is, are we individuals? No. We're connected to all this, you know what I mean? We're all part of all this. We're all in this together with nature, the solar system. We're all in this together. But in the, in the reality through these eyes, you get that opportunity to concentrate that and see it through one thing and create it individually, you know what I mean? And that's the blessing, you know? Because at the end of the day, I mean, when I want to say, when I say about we all, every, we all come from everything, I mean, it's all atoms. It all breaks down to atoms and energies and the elements. We all do, we all do. The planets, the star, everything breaks down to these elements and these, you know, and these atoms, you know what I mean? And, and if you think about that too, atom is in the creation, but it's just how you, you know, your usage of atoms. You know, but that's another pod, man. Neither here nor there. We'll, hit, we'll test that later on. But um, it's really all about what we create. You know, what you're creating out here. You know, is you getting up and, and, and is you creating that revenue? Is you creating a chance for yourself even? You know, you might be saying, oh, well, I don't have opportunity to really do anything with my kids or just, oh, I don't have kids or just saying, you know, well, what really opportunities are you creating for yourself? You know, you want to just work to just pay the bills? and maintain that's cool that you know that's your choice but are you doing this to have money to just keep it in the bank just so you can all right i got it i'm nothing wrong with rainy days and having money to have things to take care of but it's like are you just having it just to just to have it just to, okay i'm just holding it there or as you creating things for other people to create with it you know okay i'm gonna do this business so i'm gonna put my money in this investments or something so that way when my kids get a little older they can jump in it and they can keep that going you know, because the money going to run out, man. If you don't have nothing for them to add on with or you leave it up to their own, necessarily their own ideas. You know, think about that. 
if you if you say you say you get out of here and you gotta you know you gotta have you got a quarter million or you got two hundred thousand, you know what I mean? Let's just say you got a hundred thousand or whatever, you know what I mean? You're looking at me, I got five seats, you know what I mean? So if I get out of here and I got a hundred thousand, you know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah, I had a hundred, you know what I mean? Left my kids a hundred behind, you know what I mean? Let them, you know, get them with some whips or get they, you know, get to pay their little bills off or just whatever they're gonna do with it, you know what I mean? Then once that shit out of here, that's it. You know, I'm leaving it all up. I'm, 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 I got to hope from I got to hope from the other side that they gonna that they use any of their creativity to be able to regenerate something else after that, or hope that there's something else after that for them to add on from. You know what I mean? I ain't leave nothing for them to you know from them to grow on for them to add on to. You know what I mean? So it's like I mean, not necessarily everybody ain't gonna be able to open a business or get all kind of you know or to do all that type of stuff, man. But you know, it's like like we talked about before. You know. What are the traditions and what are the things you leave them behind to leave for your kids to, to add on to, man? You know? What's really there? You know what I mean? Something that's going to be gone eventually, man, and then that's it, man? Or is this going to be something that they can hold on to and, and say, yeah, this is a part of us. This is this is us right here. You know what I mean? This is what we're doing. This is, this, is, this is who we are. You know what I mean? And think about it. You know what I mean? It, it could be anything, you know, because everybody's different and it's all about how you handle things. You know, so I just want to say to everybody, man, you know, with all this going on, you know, and, you know, the death and, the, you know, just the violence that's going on around it, you know, it seemed like, you know, the coronavirus was doing this thing and then that tried to ease up. We get everybody getting vaccinated. We all get vaccinated and things. And now it's but at the same time, the real thing we was we was worried about and the thing that was messing us up from the very beginning is still happening. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, peace to George Floyd and the family, you know what I mean? And the George Floyd Act passing and, you know, the, the officer going, getting convicted and things like that, you know? But it's honestly, it's honestly, you know, a step, definitely a step forward, man. But honestly, it's about, we're not really going to never get the respect that we honestly deserve until we start giving each other that same exact respect. Until they come in here seeing respect, they're not going to give respect. If you look at the old days and you say people, oh man, you know, this person had it locked down back in the day, man, the, you know, the, everybody, people, police didn't even come to the hood, you know, this and that, and we put, put, controlled our own shit. Necessarily, why was that, why was that able to happen? It was only because they saw the respect that you had amongst each other, that they was not going to be able to just come in doing whatever they felt like. If y'all young boys is out here blowing each other's heads off or anything that go on online, you want to be a rapper or whatever it is you out here doing, how do you expect to get any, how do you expect them to respect anything you're doing or any way that you move it or how they even treat you? And I'm not saying that it's cool or giving any props or any, any, you know, green light to whatever they doing or saying it's cool, whatever they doing. But what I'm trying to say is if some, if how do you expect to get that type of energy from somebody when you ain't even giving that energy to your own people, man? You know, they don't come around seeing respect, man. That's just the facts. That's just the facts. When motherfuckers look at, when people look at us from the outside looking in and they see us online and they see us on our social medias and on these on YouTubes and these, you know, these videos and on the news and all this. They don't see no respect amongst, no honor amongst thieves and no respect amongst men, period. So if I'm, if I know I got to do something with some, with some dudes that I know ain't necessarily the most respectful dudes and not necessarily the most honorable dudes or whatever, which I would never do, but if I had to, you know, or had to interact with them, you know, I would be on that same exact type of time or at least prepared for it, you know? So in a sense, you got to kind of look at it as like, man, you know, until we, can, until we can honestly show the world that we got, that we respect what our, our land and where we are and we, we respect, actually respect our neighborhoods, I feel like that would be the opportunity where we get the chance for them to honestly show us respect to our neighborhoods and to where we are, man. You know, because if we constantly just tearing it up, destroying the people in it, slaughtering them, killing our, killing the brothers that's coming up to be, that could be leaders in our neighborhood, 
and the things like that. How can we expect any of them to ever respect any of us, man? Because ain't nobody going to come fight back for them. That's how they look at it. Half the time, they let us just do it ourselves. The group the ones they want out of here. Because they know we're going to do it eventually. You know? So I just want to say, man, everybody just take a look at how it's going on, man. And don't put the blame on everybody else. Let's just reflect on self for a little bit, man, and see how we moving and see how we put the respect out there and see how we operate and seeing the rules that we live by and how we, you know, move out here and create, you know, what type of energy are we creating? You know, what's the, what's the energy out here, man? And it's man, and it's wild, disrespectful and it's wild, you know, careless, you know what I mean? no respect for for anybody's life period you know what i mean even if you is in the gang that's happening to everybody out there too and their own gangs is getting killed by their own gang members you know what i mean so we can't even say that either man you know what i mean we got to look at how we respect and what's going on out here and how we respect our own neighborhoods before we can look at somebody else to get for them to ever respect our neighborhoods man you know and i just want to keep it light and say it like that man once again peace to the god osiris asar brian trescott rotate in power you know what I mean? We here, family. I God TV. We're going to continue doing it. We're going to continue building. You know what I mean? Rock with us. Like and subscribe, man. We're doing our thing, baby. We here. Peace.